Hi everyone. This lecture is about BitTorrent. The BitTorrent is a protocol which is based on the peer-to-peer -peer networking concept. I discussed this concept in 1.2.1. For A2 students, it would be not that far. You can always revisit my video for 1.2.1 networks and you can observe peer-to-peer uh, -peer networking. So, uh, let us discuss uh, first without more technical terms in terms of file sharing in peer-to-peer -peer networks and then we will discuss technical terms. So, at first, the content uh, owner creates the content and uh, share that content in the form of .torrent file uh, creates it and uploads that to the torrent server here number two a server gets synced with a torrent search engine so that the torrent that was created by the content owner can be uh, searched for uh, thirdly, torrent server updates trackers. Trackers are servers we will discuss uh, later. They know about the torrent files and the computers over uh, the, which the torrent files are placed. Torrent server updates trackers and link them to content creator computer. Uh, there are so many more computers get attached to owner's computer beca because of these trackers. So trackers let every other computer know that where the original content and uh, content is and all these computers gets uh, updated by the content created by this content owner. Then there comes the user. When uh, a user searches for a keyword on torrent engine, I mean the search engine, uh, they get to know about the files available. Uh, secondly, uh, they are led to the torrent server which actually has the file that was created and then they are led to uh, the trackers and they get a list of all the computers having uh, the required files and afterwards user gets a list of all the files computers having uh, required files and then uh, lastly users start uploading and downloading required files now you might be wondering that the user wanted to have the file only to download it and why they are uploading for that we have to get uh, uh, aware in terms of uh, technicality so let's discuss uh, technical uh, aspect of peer-to-peer -peer file sharing and BitTorrent protocol. The BitTorrent uh, is a protocol which is based on the peer-to-peer -peer networking concept. This allows for a very fast uh, sharing of the files between the computers known as uh, peers. Uh, while peer-to-peer -peer networks only work well with a very small number of computers, the concept of sharing file using BitTorrent can be used by thousands of uh, users who connect together over the internet. Because uh, user computers are sharing files directly with each other rather than using a web server, they are sharing files in a way similar to uh, that used in peer-to-peer -peer networks. That is, the main difference is that the BitTorrent protocol allows many computers at acting as peers to share files. Now, uh, suppose computer A uh, wishes uh, to share a file with a number of other interested peers. How can we use BitTorrent uh, protocol to allow this file sharing? Let's discuss it. In initially, to share a file, the peer computer A uh, creates a small file called a torrent. For example, let's say my video file dot torrent. The torrent contains uh, metadata. Uh, about uh, the file uh, which is uh, going to be shared. The metadata is the data about the data means where the file lies, how many chunks that file has and what are the IP addresses associated to that file or the computers holding that file. The actual file is uh, broken up into equal size segments known as uh, pieces here. These pieces are typically a 
20 uh, mb byte mb byte can be set uh, can be 1.092 uh, megabyte uh, maybe is a different system so typically uh, um, a 20 um, maybe byte file may be broken up into uh, 20 into 1 maybe byte pieces now other peers who wish to download this file must uh, first obtain the torrent and connect to the appropriate tracker Tracker is a central server that contains uh, data about all of the computers connected to it. So, uh, as each peer receives uh, a piece of file, they can become a source for that piece of file, all these computers which are there. Other peers connected to the tracker will therefore uh, know where to find the piece of file they require. Once a peer has downloaded a file completely and they make uh, the file or required pieces of the file available to other peers, uh, this is in the SWARM. SWARM is uh, actually all the peers together. It is a group of peers connected together. That is called a SWARM. They become a seed. So every single computer which has downloaded a piece of the file or the complete file, they, they are now called uh, seed. The more seed in the swarm, the faster the file downloading process between the peers. Uh, sometimes what happens that uh, most of the computers which uh, download the file, uh, they don't uh, upload it back. So at once logging off um, uh, the full file downloaded uh, it is uh, not uh, supposed to be a good thing because you have uh, downloaded from others but you are not giving it back to uh, uh, others computer who want to download the same file such type of computers which uh, actually download the file but do not share it back are called leechers so every single of these computers is a leech or leecher which are downloading but not uploading back so in a BitTorrent system it is supposed to that uh, whatever the computer which is downloading would be uploading as well. Usually um, once a file is fully downloaded a peer is requested to remain online so they become part of the seeding process until the peers have received the whole file. Uh, the file uh, uh, pieces may not be downloaded sequentially and have to be rearranged so uh, different computers may have different pieces of the file so they are all downloaded but they are not in sequential arrangement uh, so the file pieces may not be downloaded sequentially and have to be arranged in the correct order by the BitTorrent protocol to pr produce the final file it is very important uh, if it is a video file or sound file which needs to be in that order in fact for every file for that sake at the time of uh, uh, BitTorrent uh, um, use in the current world, nowadays uh, BitTorrent is responsible, according to my research uh, with uh, uh, Google, that about 12% of the videos files uh, sharing uh, carried out over the internet is being done using uh, BitTorrent but this is only the fraction of video file sharing happening over the YouTubes like I'm also delivering this lecture through YouTube YouTube is uh, uh, responsible for about 50% of all the videos file sharing over the internet but this 12% is, is still considerable um, considering the size of the internet so let's have a, a summary of all the uh, technical terms that you might be uh, required to know. First is uh, SOM. A group of peers connected uh, together is known as SOM. One of the most important facts when considering whether or not a SOM can continue to allow peers to to complete a torrent is its availability. Availability uh, refers to the number of complete copies of torrent contents that are distributed amongst the SOM. Uh, a torrent is simply the name given to a file being shared on the peer-to-peer -peer network torrent is not the actual file actual files and their pieces are residing at uh, uh, peers so seed 
appear that has downloaded a file or piece of a file uh, and has then made it available to other peers is in the swarm. Tracker. This is a central server that stores details about other computers over here uh, uh, that make up the swarm. So a swarm is being associated with the tracker. So it is a central server that stores details about the computer that make up a swarm. It will store details about all the peers downloading and uploading files, allowing the peers to locate each other using the stored IP addresses. Then we have got leech or leechers. Uh, it is a peer that has a negative impact on the swarm by having a poor share ratio. Share ratio as it has been also shown in this diagram. That is they are downloading much more data than they are uploading. So they are download they have downloaded all complete files but they have only uploaded this leecher has uploaded only 12%, this has 32% and this has 62%. The ratio is determined using the formula uh, amount of data that has been uploaded divided by amount of data that has been downloaded. So that is the percentage, the ratio. Uh, if the ratio is uh, uh, greater than 1, means as I said the formula is uh, uh, of the ratio is amount of data uh, that the peer has uploaded divided by amount of data that the peer has uh, downloaded. If the ratio is greater than 1, then the peer has positive impact on the swarm if the ratio is less than 1, then the peer has negative impact over the swarm. So, negative uh, swarms, uh, seeds or leachers are not considered well. Then there is the last term, lurker. Uh, lurker is a, a peer that downloads many files but does not make available any new content to the community as a whole. So, that means that uh, we are all uh, lurkers since we only download through torrent and we may share it back but we do not create original uh, content that needs to be available with the help of torrent so that uh, that is all about uh, BitTorrent protocol hope you would have understand it uh, if you have any questions regarding this um, uh, do post it in your respective whatsapp group or facebook group or under the comments um, underneath this video. Thank you very much. Take care.